5.30, a Franklin College professor is under investigation for assaulting a male student at his home. Tonight, that professor is out of a job and could face criminal charges. RTV6 reporter Chris Prophet is live in Franklin tonight with the very latest information on the investigation and reaction from the college. Chris? And Erica, Tom Howald taught here at Franklin College for over four decades, and he was well-liked and respected, which is why these allegations have shocked this campus. The 19-year-old Franklin College student told school officials and police that he was assaulted one week ago in the early morning hours at the home of longtime professor Tom Howald. It's very unusual. I mean, I'm, I'm still reeling from it, and I think a lot of people on campus are deeply shocked. The nature of the assault isn't clear, but Howald went to college officials the following morning and was fired that afternoon. We went to his Franklin home, but no one answered the door. The college took out a protective order against the former professor on behalf of the student, prohibiting Howald from being on school property or contacting the alleged victim. I talked with the student and his parents together with the dean of students um, that day, and he was concerned for his safety, and so were his parents. Howald taught philosophy and religion for four decades at Franklin College, retiring and then returning as an adjunct professor. And while students we talked with don't know him, they know about what has allegedly happened. I was very shocked about hearing like the news or like, the things that I've heard about the professor. I mean, this campus is really nice and prof professors here are really nice too. And when I heard about that, I was very shocked, honestly. Franklin police say the results of their investigation into the alleged assault will be forwarded to the prosecutor this week to determine if Howald would face any charges. According to college officials, when questioned about the incident, Howald didn't deny the student's claim. College officials say the safety and security of their students is their number one priority, which is one of the reasons why they sought that protective order against the former professor. Live at Franklin College, Chris Prophet, RTV6.